as you walk. Do you have opportunity when you walk into your classroom to smile at your teacher? Because guess what? Do you think the teachers don't need your smiles? They do. They are very much confirmed by you. I'm going to tell you the story of my daughter because that was one of the things that her teacher said. Everybody thinks that teachers are influencing the students, but I tell you, he said, I, I was influenced by you, told my daughter. Every day when I walked in the classroom, the way you smiled at me gave me strength so I could really feel strong on my feet and teach for the whole day. So you walk into your classroom, you walk into the office, you look at Veronica, smile at them. <laughs> they can feel loved and welcome. But guess what? By the time you act on that thought, before the action comes what? Thought. So there's a distance between the thought and action. Happiness happens when we think a good thought and translate it into action. And guess what? By the time Veronica receives your action, you have had many moments or minutes that you have been benefiting from that thought the positive thought. So Veronica receives it second half. By the time she receives it, is a second half because you've been the first beneficiary of it. So I want you to remember that this course that we are doing is not about just those conflicts that are brought to you to solve, but whether you are able to create a culture in your school that people of the school, kids in the school, don't even want to choose the path of the Pied Piper and the mayor, or the monkey attached to his banana and willing to give his life. Because the hunter came and said, he grabbed his leg and went and made the soup. He could have let go of the banana and would have gone free. So I want you to think about those times, the thoughts that you think, and whether these thoughts are going to bring you closer to others, especially people that you love, people in your family, people around you, people you meet, people you visit, is bringing you closer or is making you go further? Think about it. And perhaps maybe you can in your journals write about some of those situations where you see around you or you experience yourself getting into a conflict. And so we can gradually kind of look at each other and help each other and grow together in conquering ourselves. Because that's the biggest war we all have. To conquer who? The world? <coughs> who? <coughs> ourselves. <coughs> Our thoughts. Being able to use alternative thoughts. So we're going to actually divide everybody into, into, into groups. And so Natalie, would you be the one who would be telling us what we're going to do with the, today? Uh, yeah, we're going to be continuing with the Jack and the Beat stuff. Yes, you come. <laughs> Does everyone have the, did we hand out the story for that? No. Ah. no, we didn't have, we just told it, right? No, we, yes. You don't have copies of it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Someone can help me. Okay. Exactly. Susan, you want to help with what you're supposed to be doing? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just thinking about it like. I would be such a baby. Dude, I would be such a baby. I'm not, I'm not ever going to school again. This is it for me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be sitting down with <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to revisit this story that we did on Wednesday. Um, so we're going to split into small groups, and like we did with the Pied Piper story, we're going to each pick our characters and really get into it um, and lead a mediation. Yeah, okay. So how many characters do you need in each? So the story that you're going to be doing is? Is Jack and the Beanstalk. Oh. Okay, so we need... A Jack, Mr. Giant, <laughs> and two, two mediators in each group. Yeah. Okay. Just number it. How we've been doing it? Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah. I'm not sure. So let's have one, two, uh, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah. 
and then you'll actually join one of the groups. Yeah. Okay. So group one, come over here. Samuel. <laughs> 